Hi everyone. Um, today we're going to be having a look at the Nokia 6510. Um, so I've got one here, um, which is not in bad condition for the age of it. Um, as you can see, someone did try and write the number on the back, which I did try and get off best I could. Um, yes, this was first released in 2002, so getting on now. Um, and it was supposed to be an improved version of the Nokia 8310. Um, this had a higher resolution screen and also a backlight for the keys. Um, I don't actually have a charger for this, um, which is a shame, so we can't charge up, see if it's working. I'd imagine it is still working. Um, so yeah, it does take a set of headphones but two and a half mil jack ones um, so let's take the back off and have a quick look so it's got the original nokia battery in it and the sim card goes in there that just slides down and pops out um, the front of these pops off very easily like that um, and there were hundreds of different colours and of these snap-on covers that you could buy. Um, I always found the copy ones not to be particularly great. Um, but yeah, they literally just clips on there. Um, so that's the power button, infrared, volume. Let's uh, put the battery back in. Um, yes, like I said, I haven't got a charger for this, so we can't turn it on, which is a shame. Um, but if you've got any of these lying about and they're in good condition and they work, um, they do fetch these days sort of between 30 and 50 pounds. Um, yeah, so there we go. Nice little phone, quite light. Um, yeah, so if you stay tuned to the channel, um, I'll be looking at some more old Nokia phones. Um, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you want to see more.